Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a baseball glove and a ball. So let's get started. This is going to be very easy. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while I draw, I will give you some fun facts about baseball gloves and um, the history of it all um, so this is a kids website that I'm getting this uh, information from so it's wikipedia kidssearch.com so um, so catcher Doug Allison in 1870 was the first ever to wear baseball gloves um, his hands were split and cracked open from catching in other games earlier in the week so he chose to wear something that would protect his hands so that they wouldn't be damaged anymore so he wore baseball gloves but he was laughed at and mocked by his teammates but um, look at it now everyone's using the gloves Five years later, in 1875, Charlie Waite, a St. Uh, Louis outfielder and first baseman, um, who in 1875 used a pair of flesh colored gloves, but he was also laughed by his teammates. Although baseball gloves were not used very much at first, when they were first made, more and more baseball players started to use baseball gloves over time, probably when baseball stars Albert Spaulding began playing first base with a baseball glove. So when he started to wear them, more infielders started to use gloves also because he was famous. And uh, before the mid-1890s, the baseball gloves were worn normally by baseball players. Soon, all baseball players started to wear baseball gloves. So, um, this is a very um, interesting fact. So, they all laughed at the first person and then uh, eventually to protect their hands as well. And because it is good people started adapting to it so um, like I said before if you want to go to the website and read it yourself it's wiki.kidsearch.com uh, it gives um, interesting facts if you are new to baseball and don't know where the baseball glove came from it gives interesting facts for any age not just kids um, the basics of it all so I found this really interesting because I had no idea and it also says in 1920 Bill Dork a pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals suggested that a web be placed between the first finger and the thumb in order to create a pocket this design soon became added to baseball gloves and webbed gloves were starting to be used by all baseball players and since the baseball gloves was invented, they have grown to what they look like today. While catching in baseball was two-handed, gloves grew to a size that made it easier to catch the ball in the webbing of the glove and use the off-hand to keep it from falling off, falling out. So a glove is worn on the non-dominant hand, leaving the dominant hand for throwing the ball. For example, a right-handed player would wear a glove on the left hand. By the convention, the type of gloves that fits on the left hand is called a right-handed or right-hand glove or RH glove. So the shape and size of the baseball glove is decided by official baseball rules. Um, and there's an actual section, section one. Objective of the game defines limits of catchers, first basements, and fielders' gloves in part 1.12, 1.13, and 1.14. So those are the facts that I'm going to read to you today. I hope you enjoyed them. I really enjoy learning about them. It's very interesting, the history of it all. 
so um, I hope you enjoyed that as well and if you have any requests for me to draw for next time or if you have any interesting facts that you would uh, like to add to the facts that I was talking about today uh, let me know in the comments below and if you want me to draw any other sports related drawings or anything really let me know in the comments below and I will draw that for you in my upcoming videos and if you want to connect with me through other social media as well all you need to do is check out the description box below for my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram information. All of it is there. So I hope you connect with me through those media as well. So I'm going to add a few more details to this. And I'm going to show you a little bit of coloring. But I'm going to show you the full color drawing uh, just shortly. So if you want to color it the same way as I did, you can have a look at the full color drawing as well and use the same color pattern. So you can see I'm just using brown and different shades of brown and the ball was colored with red and a little bit of blue. So I'm going to show you the full color drawing. So this is the full color drawing. So you can see all the colors that I've used. So if you're liking this, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you would like to buy products with this on, check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for you to check out a lot of products. You can get caps. Uh, t-shirts and all sorts of things so check it out and now I'm gonna put some next videos for you I've uh, drawn some game related uh, sports related drawings so I'm gonna put it here I hope you like those as well and don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel as you know I bring a video every single day so uh, I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow
bye